Here we are at part 49 of my video walkthrough for Final Fantasy IV. And we're heading over here. To the Lunar Core. Now when going through this area, I like to equip Rosa with her Sage's Staff. Because I need her will boost. Yay! 97 will. Awesome. And yeah, when we get down to this point, we start fighting behemoths and red dragons. As random enemies, oh boy! On top of a new friend, the Evil Mask! He starts off by, well, casting Wall on himself, and then he casts Wall on the entire party. Making it really, really hard for us to heal ourselves. But yeah, we need this guy to die, and quick, so let's reflect some nasty spells up off our party members. Which is what he does. Ow! Holy doesn't feel very good. Eat a flare, buddy. Ooh, 9,100 damage. Awesome. What can you do, Rosa? 8,050. Oh, come on. You have 97 will. <laughs> Might as well burn my shurikens out since I won't have much need for him here in a little bit. Oh, uh, do I want another flare? Man, 100 MP for one fight. It's pretty brutal. But that's alright. I got elixirs. Good gravy. Those guys have a lot of hit points. But we won! Yeah, 10,000 experience. We get tons of experience down in this place. And we find lots of Puma throwing stars, too. Alright, get ourselves healed up and get ready for this. None shall ever bear the cursed sword, Masamune. And it's Opo... Opogo? Evil Leviathan! Aw, oh, crap. Ow! Good grief. Did you do enough damage there, buddy? I only got one Bacchus wine left. Can't haste Cecil, unfortunately. No, no, I don't want a Holy Cane. <laughs> but I might want to cure for some people. Yeah, Flare does like just as much damage as Bahamut. Costs less and is faster, so... Ooh, yeah! Go Rydia! Uh, hopefully I can keep all my guys alive for this. Man, those Fuma stars do lots. Lots and lots of damage. Love it. Which is why I bought so many. You want some more flare action? Yeah, I'm way faster than this guy. <laughs> he hasn't got very many attacks off. Aww. Yeah, yeah. Cure 4 is probably a little overkill. Woohoo! We won! And we received Kane's other legendary weapon. Now, I think the Murasame cast, like, armor when he uses an item, and the Masamune cast haste when he uses an item. 176 attack power. Awesome! Aww. Yeah, you can't use Exit or Warp to get out of the Lunar Core area. But yeah, I need some levels and stuff, so I guess I'm going to, you know, Exit, Warp my way back to the beginning, rest up at the, you know, the crystals and whatnot, and save, and... Make another trip through here, just to try to get some more experience. And I'll meet you back on B6. Alright. Now there's a secret passage over here. You can just walk across the air. Man, something this well guarded must have something cool in it. Alright, more hit points for Rydia. There you go. She always needs some more hit points. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have sold my junk off, but yeah, I don't really care. I don't have any need for money anymore. Alright, what could possibly be down here? 
Oh no, monsters! Yeah, it's a behemoth. I've already showed them many times. And we get a second protect ring. Um, I like to go ahead and give this one to Rosa. Giving her 62 defense. That is sweet. She's already got a ribbon to protect from silence, so... And, wow. Another save point. Hmm. Better rest up and save. Must be something dangerous coming up. Something really dangerous. But, alright. Let's see what it is. Uh-oh. It's another legendary weapon. Those damned by Zemus shall never bear this sword. And we have to fight the Wyvern! Also known as Evil Bahamut! Oh crap! Yeah, this is why I needed level ups. You've got to be able to live through that initial Mega Flare. There's no way to heal. There's no way to shield from it. If he kills you with that, then yeah, it's over. Which is why I leveled up before coming down here. Come on, Rydia, hurry up, hurry up. Awesome! I got the Flare off before he walled himself. Kaboom, baby! What do you got, Evil Bahamut? <laughs> mm, yeah. No, 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 no. I know what I want to do. Let's cast Wall on Cecil. Cecil eh, never gets hurt anyway. Oh, that's not very nice. Reflecting flare off yourself. It's a good thing I can do that too, buddy. Bam! Oh yeah. There we go. I was waiting for Kane to come back down. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, Cecil has some really good defense. Ow! Come on, buddy. I can do this. I can do this, right? You can't eat too many of those. Awesome! We won! And for defeating him, we get the ultimate of ultimate weapons. The Ragnarok! Alright, let's see what this bad boy can do. At 196 attack power, goes up to 237 and raises his defense up to 91. That is so sweet. Turns Cecil into a killing machine. And it's a holy type weapon. Like those uh, dragon zombie things. Or the dragon fossils. Cecil will do like 999 damage to him. But yeah, I decided to skip back here to the lunar core. I'm trying to hurry this up. I know everyone's getting antsy, is anticipating the upcoming end. Alright, um, yeah, I'm gonna focus on treasures here for a while. The first two levels have basically the same types of enemies, and here on level 3, we fight some new enemies, but I'll show them off in a bit. Fumastar. Yeah, I think this is, yeah, another Fumastar. And... What do we got down here? Oh crap, that's a breath. Okay, yeah, I went too far. <laughs> um, on the fourth floor of the Lunar Core, you fight Bretts and Mines. And they really suck. Uh, they're, like, not worth your time even fighting. I hate running, but good grief. Those things are just ridiculous. But yeah, I'm going to be leveling up here. To try to get Riddy up to 60 so she can learn all her spells. We get insane crack experience, like on this floor. We fight really insane battles. I mean, a behemoth and a red dragon at the same time? Come on! But, yeah, that's just the way she goes. <laughs> Test out our newfound powers. It's definitely what this place is for. But, yeah, I got plenty of elixirs. It took me about 30 minutes of actually killing things to uh, get her up to level 60, so it wasn't too, too bad. Um, there's not really a whole lot you can do. 
I don't want to bother going through the trouble to equip my bow, because i got to leave my staff equipped in case I run across an evil mass so I can white holy them. But it doesn't matter, the red dragon's dead anyway. But at least we don't fight blue dragons. I actually f like fighting them like less than red dragons. Alright, Cecil, so let's show off some of your new power. Bam! 3,500. Hard to beat that. Yeah, decided to blink Rydia so that maybe she, like, won't get hit constantly. Those things always attack Rydia. It's like they know I want to use Mist Dragon or something. 